YouTube channel. My name is Aisha Johnson for those of you who do not know me and this video is going to be my everyday makeup routine. This is typically the routine I would do if I'm going out somewhere or if I'm going to school. I do this every time I go to school. I wake up really extra early and I do this makeup routine for school. I also would typically do this if um I'm going out on the weekend but instead of just having my regular eyelashes I'll throw on some um lashes to act to add extra glam so i'm not going to include me putting on lashes in this video if you want to see how i put on my lashes that can be another video i can make but i'm not going to do lashes in this video so if you're interested in watching this video stay tuned okay so the first thing i do is my brows and i kind of lined up the stuff that i use on my thing here but i got them all like messed up so the, pen, the brow pencil I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil in Dark Brown. This pencil to me is actually like darker than I actually need because even though like my weave is like a 1B, my natural hair is like a number 4. So it's, to me this brow pencil kind of makes my eyebrows look really black but it still works. And it has like this triangular type of look to it. So, just gonna speed this up and do my brows. I'm in love with the cocoa. I got it for the long, long, long. Hit my butt, that's my troll, low. You got it for the long, long. Stitch and I go loco Hit you with that trench or all call If you're thinking that I'm so low So after um, I get my brows at least halfway decent I conceal them Using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn And I'm going to be using the mirror and looking directly in my phone So I can see because I don't have a better camera Actually I'm gonna need this mirror because I cannot see. If you stitch and I go low call, hit you with that trench or all call. If you're thinking that I'm so low, 50 deep. And I get these brows on fleek as best as I can. Normally I use my bathroom mirror and I like lean forward and stuff, so this this whole setup is like throwing me off. So after I do my brows, I prime my face and I'm using my Mary Kay foundation primer. This is actually the only primer I use and I actually started recording this video before and instead of doing my brows first, I put primer on my face first. So I really don't need primer down here at all because I already have primer. Yeah. So, I put the primer all on my face, and the foundation I use is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place uh, foundation. This is actually a new foundation. I used to use um, the Mary Kay foundation, I'm bronze four, but in the Estee Lauder foundation, this shade is sandalwood. It actually blends in my skin tone, but I kind of feel like in a way it's too light for me so but I put this on a flat top brush and this is just a brush from Elf and don't pay attention to any of my brushes they're dirty I need to clean them like this brush is like super stiff and I probably should have just washed it but I didn't so and I kind of just coat the brush and I dip it on my face and I blend it Hit my pluck, that's my troll low. You got it for the low low. If you stitch and I go low call, hit you with that trench or all call. If you're thinking that I'm so low, 50 deep I'm like, oh no. But the feds taking photos. And I don't look about the pop. Oh, it kinda is too loud. 
light for me. Like I feel like I have, I need like a darker shade as well. Cause my skin tone is like really weird. It's like, I'm not super dark, but I'm not light. So it's, it's really weird. I don't know. So I'm probably gonna have to get another foundation and like add it to it to like make it blend. But it looks pretty good overall after I do all my other steps. So after I put my foundation on, I tend to let it sit just like a couple seconds. And then, then I highlight under my eyes using this um, LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. I'm going to use my mirror because I can't see. fawn and i'll put like warm honey which is maybe a little bit lighter than fawn um in the in the middle and then i take my uh, i take my beauty blender and i wet it and blend <laughs> definition to the highlight I set my under eye with the Ben Nye luxury powder and to do that I t I have the Milani baked blush which I use at the end but I have the <laughs> it's kind of ghetto but I take the Ben Nye luxury powder and I like because in the Milani baked blush it has like a mirror where you flip it up and it's like this empty space I never use the mirror so I use this empty space, this empty space to dump my um, luxury powder in, and that's how I use it. And then I take these little cosmetic sponges that I get at the dollar store, and I just dip it in there, and I set my under eye. She loves the Take my EOS and I put it on my lips to moisturize my lips before I put my lipstick on. And I let the highlight sit for a couple minutes. And then I take my fan brush and the this the gold brush is, is by Shani Cosmetics. Um really affordable brushes, really nice quality brushes like really nice quality brushes and I really do need to wash my brushes y'all like my brushes are super dirty and but after I let my highlight sit I fan it away this is the last straw take it off and I do not normally contour sometimes if I'm feeling like I want something spontaneous I'll contour but I don't contour my nose or my my cheeks. I typically leave that alone. And then after I take my Shani Cosmetics brush and I just twirl it around in the Milani Baked Brush. And this color is Dulce Pink. And I'll swirl it around in there. And then I just pack it on my cheeks. This, it gives a little sparkle and a little pink tone to my cheeks. Nothing spectacular. 
Um, I kind of want like an actual pink blush. And the Milani blushes are very nice and um, pigmented. So I need to give me another blush. But I typically do two to three, maybe four coats if I'm feeling, feeling spunky. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, then after that, sometimes I will I do a typical wing liner, and the liner I use is by NYC. But uh, I don't really have a need to use a liner. But to do my eyelashes, I use the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. These re this really makes my eyelashes like really long. And for my bottom lashes, I typically take, which I don't have, so I'm, I'm not even going to do my bottom lashes because I know it's just going to get on my makeup but I typically take like an index card and I hold it under my bottom lashes and I put the mascara on because this um, brush is really chunky and it typically like make my lashes really really like dark and it gets on my lash line so and I don't like how that looks so I typically take um the index card and put it on there but I use that to do my lashes and after that um, my go-to lip is um, trap by Colourpop and I line my lip with K lippy pencil and that's also by Colourpop I go ahead and line my lip Put it like in the center and sometimes um, if I don't want the matte look, I will put Fairy Floss, um, that's also by Colourpop. I'll put Fairy Floss over Trap. I think it looks really nice. Um, Fairy Floss is a sheer, um, lip gloss by Colourpop, and I just put that over my lips. And then after I finish, I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Um, I just started using this. I'm going through a phase where I'm trying different setting sprays to try and figure out, like, what good drugstore sp setting sprays um so if you have any recommendations could you leave them below and i will try them um right now i'm trying the wet and wild photo focus setting spray all day wear um i've seen this in another video i can't even remember what video i just watched but so far it has been um making my makeup set, like last all day so it's been doing a pretty good job um so yeah, I'll just set my face with this. And I kind of just do this. And this is my everyday makeup look. So if you guys like this video, um, please like and comment down below if you want more beauty videos like this. Um, any other video choices that you guys may have. Please share my video, tell your friends, tell your mom, your cousin, whoever is a makeup girl that's in school or in college. This um, makeup tutorial is actually really easy. It only takes me about 5 to 10 minutes in the morning. Um, some of my products are like high quality, but most of them are drugstores. They're really affordable. I'm hoping to do more um, 
beauty videos on my channel so i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and follow me on all my social media uh, it's going to be in the description box below and also at the ending in my end slate but um i leave i will leave all the products that i use in this video down below because i know i didn't take the time to really show it so yeah before i keep babbling i'll see you guys in my next video yeah. i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys